Hello, hello, hello. What's going on, people? It's your boy South AK Volume Five, NBA Today. Uh, it's a nice little feature in NBA 2K10 where you can just basically go through what games were played the day that you decide to pop in the game. I'm gonna go ahead and play Suns vs Celtics. That's right. And so uh, you know, throwing it on the tune and everything like that. But uh, this is just one little. Uh, the relentless video, Phoenix Suns uh, square up against the red hot Boston the, uh, Celtics. It's a heavyweight NBA matchup NBA next on 2K, 2K Sports. Sports. So basically, I made these little clips of, of um, menu. The Suns continue their journey as they play an interconference matchup on the road. I get everybody alongside Clark Kellogg. This is Kevin Harlan. Glad you can join us today. Now let's check out the T-Mobile starting lineups. Celtics make a quick stop here in front of their Boston fans just one game before heading back out. These guys off to a great start, Clark. Four and one right now. And let's check out the Sprite Ice Cold keys to the game. Now Clark looking at the Suns. What do they need to do to secure a win? Well, Kevin, it all comes down to how well they handle Kevin Garnett. He's an excellent rebounder on both backboards. So you've got to get into him and deny him prime position inside. Now, Clark, uh, what about Boston? What do they need to do to secure a win? Frankly, if Ray Allen can get back on track, that will really be a difference maker. Over the last few games, he's just not been his normal self. His scoring is down. I think he needs to get on track offensively. Mm -hmm. yeah, it'll be interesting. Let's talk about where Paul Pierce places himself in the fabric of the Boston Celtics, that rich history. Is he one of the five greatest Celtics ever? In my opinion, yes, no mm. doubt. He's got a championship, he's been critical, he's been a significant, integral part of a championship team. And throughout his career, at some point, you have to value what players have done individually. I know titles make a difference in evaluating players, but when a guy produces at the level that Paul Pierce has produced at, then he clearly has a place amongst the all-time greats, even in the storied history of the Boston Celtics when you look at his career now. Kept alive. Here's Rondo. Tries to drop it in, but it won't go. Hill gets in close. Finishes with the soft touch. Rondo with it. What a tremendous game he played against Minnesota. Here's Rondo, blocked, stopped him cold. The rejection by Stoudemire. Here's Hill. It's rebounded by Kevin Garnett. Suns on D. First chance of the season for them to go up against this Celtics team. Yep, they'll see him twice this season, so not a lot of face time with these guys. Rondo with it. His last outing, he had 18 points. It's Pierce on the wing. Off the mark with the three ball. So it's Phoenix now. Last game matched up with the Magic. Tough loss there. I don't think they brought the kind of intensity they needed to. They had a slow offense and really were a non-factor on defense. Rondo with the ball. 2.58 left in the first. And the people do like to see these interconference battles. Oh, I agree with you, Kevin. Definitely in some sports, you don't get to play all the other teams on your home court. So the fans love coming out for these. Now, here's Nash. Coming in off a 12-point game, his last outing. To Amar. He's against Garnett. Flushes it with the one-handed jam. By the time the D could react, it was too late. That's how to rise up for the throwdown. Rondo dumps it off. Here's Allen. Stoudemire grabs the miss. Shocking how wide open he was. Even more shocking that he couldn't sink it. Now here's Nash. He's covered by Rondo. Tried to convert on the alley-oop, but snatched away. Off his leg, and the ref's whistling a kickball. Some changes for the Celtics. Here's Pierce. He saw the 10 points last game. Draws the foul. He'll get a trip to the line. Tough interior defense means not allowing easy baskets. 
Good foul. And he makes the first one. Gets them both. Now here's Nash. 153 left in the first quarter. Deflects the pass. The lob was a little misjudged and he couldn't get control of it. A tough sequence there. Here's Pierce, defended by Nash. From short range. He's going to go too bad for him here in the court. Doing an outstanding job putting the ball in the basket. And here we go with Steve Nash. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Here's Clark. Throws oh, down the reverse jam. Rondo pops it in on the layup. Now here's Nash. Here's Barbosa. Shot misses. And the Celtics go with it the other way. They're coming off that win against Minnesota. You look at where they really impacted the flow in this one, and it was in getting a hold of the loose ball and taking advantage of the lack of ball control at the other end of the court. Now, here's Nash following the basket by Rasheed Waltz. Here's Stoudemire, kisses it off the glass and in. Six points for him. This is what happens when the defense lags. Wrong guy to give an opening to. Two second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Rondo. Now Allen. Kept alive. Shoots over the double team. Can't get it. Clark has picked up his first foul of the game. Sink the first. The Celtics changing it up. He's off on the second. Right wing. The jump off to Dreiser. We've got a tie ball game on our hands. They've been very active with their hands going for steals. They've really been disruptive on defense. Nonetheless, their interior defense has plenty of room for improvement. They're giving up too many points in the bank. We've reached the end of the first, and both teams going back and forth. It's knotted up at 12. <laughs> 